man accused of killing the retired Marine known as Chef Doug has been ordered to stand trial. That decision comes following a day of revealing testimony in court. Let's get to Jermont Terry live tonight. Jermont, there are so many aspects to this case. Yeah, revealing testimony, no doubt, Kimberly. Today in court, we learned that Chef Doug was murdered, allegedly because he was unhappy with paid sexual favors from a teenage girl. And when they all came down to it, while demanding his $50 back for those services, he was shot dead. Trayvon Baskerville back in court listening as prosecutors present evidence into the murder of Chef Doug Calhoun. The ex-Marine apparently came to Baskerville's house back in June to engage in a sex act with Baskerville's girlfriend for money. That teenage girl testified Calhoun wanted more than just oral sex. Like key cap acts and why not? I told him no, everything is with a condom. An argument ensued and the witness testified Baskerville came into the room with a gun. Did you see gunshots or did you hear them? I saw. Okay. Was it more than one time that Trey shot Doug? Yes. The witness went on to say she helped Baskerville move Calhoun's body out of that house. Where do you, does Trey put the body? Into the dumpster. Okay. Do you help him do that? Yes. Why? Because I was scared. Calhoun was missing for weeks. His family held many search efforts throughout the summer, but a tip to Crime Stoppers led police to a house where Calhoun was dumped on the west side. Prosecutors also played an audio of Baskerville from jail. He called his girlfriend, insisting she not talk to police. Can you hear me, baby? Before I let anything happen to you, I would take everything. You hear me? I take all the charges. Before any of us, don't you, don't you get scared and do anything. That led the judge to bound this case over for trial. And it was determined that Calhoun was shot three times inside Baskerville's house, according to prosecutors. Now, if convicted on all of these charges, Baskerville could face life in prison. Reporting live in downtown, Jermont Terry, Local 4. Okay, Jermont, thank you.